Welcome everyone to what sold on my low pop server, the main banker. Actually, surprisingly, had 410 sales. There's going to be a lot of small stuff in here, so it's not that mega mega exciting. But still, nevertheless, it's still good when it's ticking over, even if it's only making small profits. Hopefully, I'm actually in front. I don't even know anymore this time around again. Hopefully, I'll get my gold cap. At least I know I've made my money back. All right. First one's 294,000. Notable things are my spell threads as usual. Some shadow alloy that I actually made and sent the money away to get them. My expedition bags, which are nice when they sell still. Um, amazingly draconic um, combatants wilder cloth sash sold, which is nice. That's a nice return at the moment. Still at 22,000 gold. I'm not going to complain. I mean, I don't expect to sell them this late at all, but I'm not going to say no. So that's really cool. Um, what else is here that's exciting? I've got some armor patches made also for myself and thought I might as well flog them off to, um, to get rid of my metal that I have still hanging around on some characters. I just don't know what to do with it all. So I thought I'll just make rank three stuff as much as possible. All right, there's more. Um, engineering stuff I was making also just to get use up the metal and on each scenario I would send the gold away to the cost of the materials and then just cover the profits from here later on all right some more spell threads some alloys here again and uh, that's it that's yeah that I can see really that's exciting so oh, I made some sorry and I made some enchanting items and just yeah Thought I might as well see if I can sell some of them also. All right, let me get that. All right, next little bit. Let's wait. Oh, 132,000. Worries me when that's all I'm getting back uh, for my returns. All right, more spell threads. And uh, there you go, another PvP item sold here, that's, which is really, really nice when that happens. And what else is here? More spell threads, more bags. I mean, that's you know, 40 50 gold profit. Still got the items in my bags, I might as well use them. Uh, chrono bags sold, which is nice, they don't sell very often. So there's more um, leather working stuff that I made, more again, engineering bits and pieces. And thought I might as well just start using things up. All right, so that's it. There's nothing else really that stands out here. Let me get that. Okay, dokey. Next little bit. Just over 430,000. Let's have a look if there's anything notable here. More engineering bits and pieces. Uh, more leatherworking stuff. And again, I'm a patcher, so I just went and started using up my metal. And more alloys here. They're probably going you know, to 300 gold profit on each one, something like that from memory. Alright, so I sold the flying mouth here. So that's really cool. Uh, more spell threads. Again, more spell threads. And some patterns that, again, I paid only 50 gold for, so it's still a return, which is not too bad. Alright, let me get that. All right, next little bit. Doesn't look promising that I'm actually gonna gold cap it, so that's pretty bad effort at the moment. Yeah. All right. Bit sad now, I think. See what the result is at the end. Um, which is disappointing. Oh, I know why anyway, actually. So yeah, I'll explain it in a minute. I always worry about the results sometimes when you forget things. All right, more alloys. Again, more spell threads. And let's have a quick look. What else is here? More spell threads. And again, some more patterns sold here for 7,000 gold, 2,000 gold each. Nice when they go. Just want to get rid of them now. Don't bother with them too much anymore. Um, more alloys here. Um, some more profession gear. Another PvP item. It's been pretty good price, actually. Again, another PvP item here. 
and again more expedition bags and that's not too much of anything else just let me get that all right let's just get it on then oh yeah i'm actually gonna gold cap anyway now that's really nice again just spell threads and that's it at the beginning that's all i was doing till i got a bit more excited all right i'll just pick all this up and move what i need to move to make room and we will talk about what happened all right let's have a look how we went then i was a bit worried about nothing at the end so seven days again the same thing as last time there you go i was actually 9636 so i actually managed to gold cap this time around so that's 360,000 gold here. And I moved 105 across. So that's 400 and 470 something thousand gold from memory. Anyway, so that's that. The other thing I did do here is there's a big jump here is because I actually got myself a black auction house box, which was at 220,000. So it was actually not too bad. It was over 500,000 gold profit. I was going to say. I'm sure I did better than that. Sometimes you doubt yourself, <laughs> which is not good. But that's very good effort, actually. So for me, that's been just over 500,000 profit. Not going to complain for one week's effort. And again, I'll probably spend a tiny bit more stuffing around here and buying things out and just crafting and stuff like that in the background. So, yeah. and And again, I went and did a lot of professions on the other characters just to start getting rid of bits and pieces which helped along the way i suppose all right so that's it for that little bit let me go to the next section all right so that's it so there you go just over a million revenue for the week that's a really nice return most expensive thing is my chopper which made twenty eight thousand gold profit something like that anyway not too shabby with that one and then my pvp items which are really good because again doesn't really cost too much gold i mean the wilder cloth things is like six um spell spell cloths whatever they are in furious ones it's the same thing with the plate goggles they're pretty good actually in return then yeah obviously always the cloth stuff is the best there you go, sold a couple pets here, one for 14,000 gold and one for 10,000 gold. So that's nice. And I sold this lemony hill fillet um, recipe, amazingly, for some reason, for 9,000 gold nearly, which is 10 dragon mo um, fish or whatever they are. So, you know, 50 gold for me to purchase and a return of that one was 8,500 gold nearly. Very nice. Same thing with this pattern, that's really cool. 50 to 100 gold investment turns into that. And more PvP gear, and again, more cloth stuff. So I'll make money, and there's one more pet here. There you go, the same person bought three of them. That one went for 7,000, and it's on the market now for 15,000, but still. Easy gold, costs virtually nothing to get them. Time, and yeah. Not much all right and then more illusions and bits and pieces here they go from engineering i think that was it wasn't it yep engineering engineering toy and the chrono bags and as a weave bags and again just patterns not too bad actually can't complain so and then my spell threads in big amounts so overall an improvement again didn't feel as good as i thought until i remembered what i've done where the gold went and Overall, I'm still impressed. It's still going up, which is good. All right, guys. So that's it. That's my week on my low pop server here. Everything's coming close to an end soon. Start cleaning out your bags and start making room for the next expansion. All right, guys. Thanks. Catch us all again next time. Bye.